Hey everyone, welcome to the Windows video and uh, today I want to uh, actually talk about something that is very very important. Um, around May uh, 20th, 21st, 22nd, a lot of um, people started talking about a flaw in our routers and this is very important. I mean even if you're not interested in technology even if you don't or you just barely understand what a router does uh, it's very important that you actually watch this video. A flaw has been discovered in the way that um, routers handle um, for example external hard drives and uh, networks and so on and if your router especially routers that have uh, sharing of you know hard drives, thumb drives uh, printers, stuff like that. There's a flaw that actually uh, makes your router vulnerable where it can actually be attacked just by going to a website that has malicious software on it. And you know what? The thing is about malicious software is that you go to the website and you don't even know you're being attacked. And so what happens is uh, this attack changes the DNS of your router. The DNS is the domain name system. DNS is basically why you see Google, why you see the websites. DNS are the address where, uh, you know, when you do a search, when you ask for a website, this is where, you know, everything goes on the internet for you and where your computer will have, of course, its website that you're searching for. And this is thanks to the domain name servers. It's a way for your computer and for the internet to actually work well and know where websites are located. So it changes that and what it does, it changes one DNS to a malicious spot on the web where people can actually use your router, execute code and do whatever they want with it. And the second DNS is changed to a Google public DNS. So it means that what it does is that one of the DNS is really bad, but when it's shut down, your router and your computer reverts to the Google public DNS, which is fine and works fine, so you don't have any idea that you're actually been hacked. So how do you fix that and how can you protect yourself? And it's very important because I would say the majority of everybody watching this video is vulnerable to that and to do a fix you need to go to the website of your router manufacturer. Mine is a Linksys and uh, mine has a fix. Linksys issued in my case a fix for this uh, router and I'm actually going to apply it now because what you're seeing here as the firmware version is not the correct version there's a new fix and it changes it to 2.0.0.8 or 8 as you see here on the upper right uh, corner of the screen this is the firmware so how do you do that and how do you upgrade and check for updates uh, that's the thing most routers need manual input to update themselves and that's very important uh, to know so if you're not a very a tech oriented person ask for your tech guy ask for you know your friend or your family member that maybe is good in computers and ask them to update the firmware of your router now if you have one of the most recent routers a firmware will be available soon now one thing that you need to know is that as of May 25th a lot of routers still don't have um, firmware updates to fix this, but there will be eventually. So, you know, check every two or three days, and as soon as you see an, a firmware update is available, then update your router. It's very important. Um, if you have an older router, one that maybe there won't be any fixes, and that will happen for a lot of people because a lot of people have old routers. What can you do? Okay, you can buy a new router, that's one thing, but 
there's something you can actually do if you have an old router and is to check for the availability of different open source firmware and that means you can check for what's called DDWRT which is one of the firmwares available for a lot of routers and you know there's a chance and a good chance that if you have an old router you might actually have a firmware available for it. Another um, spot for that is something called Gargoyle for routers and you see here I'm searching on Google and it's called Gargoyle Router Management Utility that you can also install on an old router. So if you've got an old router check maybe for some firmware from a third party like uh, Gargoyle and DDWRT. If you've got a recent router you can of course go to DDWRT or Gargoyle if you want to because it is available for a lot of very recent routers but why not just go to the manufacturer website? So that's what you need to do. You got a Linksys, go to uh, Linksys.com. Uh, it's actually made by Cisco. Uh, if you've got a TP-Link, go to the TP-Link website, uh, go to the D-Link website, whatever uh, you have as a manufacturer. Now, one thing that is a little scary about this flaw is that uh, you might have a combo modem router. And so for those, there's a good chance that you'll have to just cross your fingers and hope that your uh, internet service provider updates it. A lot of uh, ISPs actually update the firmware of their modems and slash, um, you know, cable, whatever, uh, routers, modem, and uh, do it without your knowledge, for example, during the night, stuff like that. So it's possible that it could be fixed. And last but not least, please, when you are in your router or when you have a router, don't leave the defaults. The defaults, I mean, when you enter your router, there's a, uh, um, a username and a password. For most router, it's admin, admin, or admin, and you just leave the password blank. Never leave your router like that because there are some websites that actually can reprogram your router without you knowing it just by using the default passwords. And you know what? Just by changing the password, you cancel that possibility. It's very important. So uh, hopefully you'll be uh, upgrading your router soon and be, uh, you know, safe surfing the web. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you're wondering if your router has an update. You can ask away and I'll be checking that for you if you want. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And you know what? Like this, not only you'll have more knowledge, but also you'll be safe on the web. So thank you for watching and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.